Today, I'm going to show you how to create an avatar that looks and sounds just like you with Synthesia, one of the best AI tools available today. It's so convincing that you probably didn't even realize that this isn't the real Kimberly. Could you tell? I'm an AI clone that Kimberly created with Synthesia. Okay, this time it's the real me. I created that clone of myself by uploading just a few minutes of video footage to Synthesia. Now I can type in any script with my keyboard and my clone can do the talking for me. It can even speak in other languages. Check this out. Oui, c'est vrai. Dans la vraie vie, Kimberly ne parle pas français. Mais je suis son avatar personnel et je parle couramment plusieurs langues. Qu'en pensez-vous? Plutôt incroyable, non? Imagine what you could do with this technology. If you need to create videos for training, marketing, sales, or social media, but don't want to be stuck continually setting up lights and filming videos, Synthesia can save you a lot of time and money. Just film yourself once to create a personal avatar, then simply type in a script in whatever language you choose. Your avatar's lips will automatically sync to the script so you can quickly create videos in one flawless take. And if you don't want to show up on camera at all, Synthesia gives you access to a wide variety of stock avatars that speak more than 140 languages. More on that later. Best of all, Synthesia has made personal avatar creation really easy. You don't need a fancy camera or studio setup. In fact, you can get started today with your computer webcam or simply film with your phone. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do to create your own personal avatar. I'll even take you behind the scenes and show you how I set up my own lights and sound when I'm filming at home. Because if you don't have the right setup, your avatar might come out looking dark and shadowy. Kind of like this. So keep on watching because later in this video, I'll share five pro tips that will help you go from this to this. All it takes is a few simple changes to the way you set up your lights in the room. Are you ready to start creating? Let's get to it. On the Synthesia homepage, click Avatars, then Create a Personal Avatar. You'll see a video demonstration as well as these recording tips. You'll need a quiet, well-lit environment, and you'll need to pause between paragraphs with your mouth closed. Use natural gestures, but make sure that your hands don't cover your face. In general, just smile and be yourself. In a minute, I'll demonstrate exactly how to do this. Then click Next. You can use your webcam or upload previously recorded footage. I'll show you how to use your webcam first. Click Record Yourself and you'll see this preview screen. Choose your language here. I'll be recording in English, but you can record in other languages too. Then select your webcam and microphone from these drop-down menus. For this demo, I'll use the FaceTime camera that's built into my Mac and my wireless microphone. You can use whatever webcam and microphone you already have set up, including the internal microphone that comes with your computer. Later, I'll give you some tips on how you can make your audio results even better. By the way, if you don't see a preview of yourself when you come to the screen, just hit the previous button and choose record yourself again to reset your webcam preview. Synthesia provides a script for you to read aloud, which will be displayed on your computer screen, just like a teleprompter. For best results, make your script browser window smaller and position it right beneath your webcam. That way, when you read the script, you'll be looking directly at the camera for better eye contact. My Mac screen is pretty large, so I'll shrink the window and position it in the upper part of the screen. If you like, you can scroll through the script first to get an idea of what you'll be saying. You can also adjust the teleprompter speed. I found fast works best for my speaking style, but you can set it to medium or slow too. When you're ready, hit Start Recording. Don't worry about getting it perfect. You can always redo the recording if you don't like how it comes out. Here's a short clip from my recording just to give you an idea of what it's like. You'll notice that Synthesia actually tells you when you should pause with your mouth closed. These pauses are important to make your avatar's lip movement accurate. Join me as we create my avatar. When I talk, I'm encouraged to use natural body language, but I make sure to keep my hands away from my face. When I shift into a positive state, I show the camera my best self to turn into an avatar. Now I'm going to tell you a few facts. When you're done, hit Submit Recording and you'll be able to preview your submission. You might need to enlarge the windows to see the buttons under the preview screen. You'll need to check this confirmation box and you can also choose to remove the background for this avatar. 
I'll leave in my background for this avatar, but later I'll show you a second avatar where the background has been removed. Next, you need to record a consent form and speak out a unique passcode. I really like this security feature because it helps ensure that the only person who can create an avatar of yourself is you. Click this biometric consent box and submit recording. Your avatar will be ready in less than 24 hours and you'll be notified by email when your avatar is ready. The next morning. Okay, we're back and my avatar is ready. I actually recorded a second avatar yesterday, but removed the background before I submitted it so you could compare the results. That avatar is displayed on a white square, while my other avatar with the background looks like it's in my home studio. Let's see how they came out. First, let's preview the avatar that doesn't have a background. Hi there, I'm your Synthesia avatar. Did you know I speak many other languages? Por ejemplo, este soy yo hablando español. Je peux aussi parler français. Incroyable, n'est-ce pas? Ready to make your own video in any of 30 plus languages? Click the new video button to get started. That's pretty amazing. To use this avatar, all I need to do is click new video, then choose a background and type in a script. For my background, I can choose a video or image that comes from any one of these stock media suppliers, or I could upload my own. I'll search for an image of a coffee shop to use as my background. Then I'll adjust the size and move the photo to the back so you can see the avatar. Then I'll type in a few lines for my script. I'm typing in English, but if I were typing in another language, my avatar's voice would adjust to speak that language. You can also add scenes, animations, graphics, text, and built-in stock avatars that come with Synthesia. If you missed my tutorial about how to access those stock avatars, I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch it later. When you preview the video, the avatar's lips won't move. That's because lip sync is only added after you click generate. That makes it easy to design and edit your video without using up any video credits. I'm here in my favorite coffee shop and I'm looking forward to talking with you about video creation. Let's get started. When you're ready, name your video and click generate to create it. You have the option to burn in captions, but I'll leave the captions off for now. Generation time will vary based on the number of scenes, but this short video only took a few minutes. A few moments later. I'm here in my favorite coffee shop, and I'm looking forward to talking with you about video creation. Let's get started. Then you can copy a link to the video or download it to your computer. There's an airplane flying overhead. Wait for it to go away. Now that I've created a personal avatar, I can easily swap out the background and change the script to create any video I want. For instance, if I want to create a company onboarding video for team members who speak Spanish, I can change the background photo to an office and translate my script with a free app like Google Translate. Then I paste in my new script and generate the video and let my avatar do the talking for me. Bienvenido a nuestra empresa. Nos alegra mucho que te hayas unido a nuestro equipo. If I want to create videos that look like they're set in my regular home studio, I can use my avatar with the built-in background. This time, my avatar is in my regular YouTube studio with the built-in background. What do you think of this setup? I'll leave a link in the description so you can try this webcam method out for yourself. And coming up next, I'll give you some tips that will help you create an even higher quality avatar. Creating a webcam avatar is pretty quick and easy, and that might be all you need for your video creation. But if you need a crisper picture with higher resolution, you might want to film yourself with a camera or phone and then upload the footage here. This video footage can be one to five minutes long, and it needs to be filmed in a single continuous take. In other words, don't use a video clip that's been edited when you create your avatar. You can talk about any topic in the language of your choice, and you don't need to read from a script. Just make sure to pause with your mouth closed between paragraphs for best results and make sure you don't cover your face. You can be sitting in one location or walking outside, as shown in this example. One other thing to keep in mind, at the time of this recording, you can only remove the background of webcam avatars, not the avatars created with uploaded footage. Let me show you how the uploaded footage works. First, I recorded myself talking to my camera in my normal home environment. Then I uploaded that footage to Synthesia and created my avatar. Since I'm not filming with my computer webcam, the picture quality is clearer. Plus, I'm able to sit further away from the camera so you can see more of my body language and gestures. That's how I created the avatar you saw at the beginning of this video. But here's a secret. 
you don't need a fancy camera. You can achieve amazing results using just your phone if you know how to set it up. So here are five pro tips to help you get the best results when filming with an iPhone. Tip one, change these settings on your iPhone. Before you start filming with your iPhone, you'll want to change a few settings so you can get the best possible results. Go to settings and camera and under record video, choose 4K at 30 frames per second. Then scroll down and make sure HDR video is turned off and make sure auto FPS is turned off. Then go back to camera and under formats, choose most compatible. And if possible, try to use your phone's back camera when you film instead of the front facing selfie camera. The back camera is much higher quality and it's easier to look directly into the camera lens to maintain good eye contact. Tip two, set up your lighting. You'll want to film in a well-lit environment where there's a lot of soft lighting on your face. One of the best ways to do that is to use the natural light from a window. You don't want the window to be behind you or you'll look like a silhouette. Instead, you'll want to face the window so the light naturally illuminates your face. Here's a demo to show you how it works. So right now I've got my phone in front of a big window. It's right in front of my face. There's nothing blocking it. As you can see, the sun is, you know, it's kind of evenly uh, falling across my face. If I get up too close to the window, I'm gonna have glare or I'll have shadows on my face. You don't want any of that. And of course, you also wanna think about the background. You know, as you could see, my background's not ideal either. It's, this is not my usual studio setup. I just wanted to show you what it's like when you have it set up this way. And the last thing is, of course, you got the shaky camera thing going on because I'm holding this in my hand. Um, if it was mounted on a tripod, it would be a lot more ideal. Another option is you could film yourself as you're standing outside. I think that works best when you're in an overcast day or if you're standing in an area where there's not a lot of bright sun or shadows because as you walk into the sun, you can see you're gonna get shadows on your face, which isn't gonna create the best avatar. Um, when you're outside, you also do need to think about the ambient noise. I've got wind, I've got you know no noise from the neighborhood. So those are just some of the things to keep in mind when you're doing your filming. The great thing about natural light is that it's free. Plus, it's a nice look if you want your avatar to have a more casual vibe or to be filmed outdoors. But to get a more professional look, you might want to use artificial lights. That's what I like to use when I film at home so I can control the intensity of the lights without worrying about the weather outside or the time of day. Because these lights are portable, I can move them to whatever room I choose so I can get the best background for filming. You'll want your artificial lights to create a soft, even glow on your face. Generally, it's best to avoid ceiling lights or bare bulbs because they can cause glare and shadows. If there are any windows behind where you're sitting, it's best to shut those curtains or use blackout shades so you don't come out looking like a silhouette. So what kind of artificial light should you choose? One option is to get a ring light and place your camera or iPhone in the center of the ring so the light falls evenly across your face. You only need one ring light for this setup and you should put it directly in front of you when you're filming. When I film at home, I use softbox lights instead of a ring light because I feel they provide a softer, more diffuse look. I put one light on this side of me at a 45 degree angle very close to me. Then I put another light on that side of the room and also at a 45 degree angle but further away. That way I get even lighting on my whole face. Two softbox lights will probably be enough for you when creating a Synthesia avatar. But if you want to add extra depth, you could add a third softbox light right behind you. My third light is right back there, but you can't see it because I've placed it outside of the camera view. The small lamp you see in the camera frame is just an accent light to make the background look more interesting. Here's how the room looks with all three lights turned off. Now let's turn on light number one, light number two, and light number three. I'll leave links to all the equipment I've mentioned in the description below. Tip three, set up your sound. If you want your personal avatar to have a high quality voice, it's best to film in a quiet environment and use a good microphone. Try to record in a room that has carpet and soft furniture like a couch or bed. These soft surfaces will absorb the sound waves and prevent echoes. If you don't have a carpet, try laying blankets or towels on the floor. The internal microphone on your laptop or built into your iPhone is a good starting point, but if you invest in an external microphone, you can get even better results. I'll play a few samples of my voice recorded with four different microphones so you can compare the quality. Join me as we create my avatar. Join me as we create my avatar. Join me as we create my avatar. Join me as we create my avatar.
When I'm filming, I use a lavalier microphone, like this wireless mini microphone from DJI. I like this microphone because it sounds great, even though it's very small. It's easy to attach to your clothing, and it works with phones, cameras, and computers. My DJI Mic Mini is a complete set that includes two microphones, one receiver, and a charging case, which is handy if you're interviewing someone for a podcast or recording on the go. But they also offer a less expensive option with only one microphone and one receiver. Both can plug into phones with a USB-C port, and if you have an older phone with a lightning port, you can buy their adapter. If you want really high quality sound, you might want to invest in an external microphone like the Samsung Q2U. Just keep in mind that Synthesia needs to be able to see your mouth and face when you're creating a personal avatar. So if you do use an external microphone, you'll need to move it to the side so it doesn't block your mouth. Tip four, use a tripod or selfie stick. Remember how you could see the camera shaking earlier when I held the phone in my hand? It's really easy to fix that problem by mounting your phone on a tripod. I have an inexpensive tripod that extends up to six feet high. And if you want to film yourself walking, it can also be used as a selfie stick. Plus it comes with a Bluetooth remote that you can pair with your camera on your phone. The advantage of using a tripod like this is that it transforms your phone into a portable studio. You can move your camera around and set it up in different rooms or even outside as you look for the location that gives you the best lighting and background. Tip five, design your background. At the time of this recording, you can only remove the background if you're filming with your webcam. If you're filming with your phone and uploading the footage, you can't remove the background. So you'll want to set up a background that matches your avatar's vibe, whether it's a natural outdoor setting or a professional office. If you're filming indoors, here are a few things you can do to create a background that works. Remove unnecessary clutter or distracting objects. Try to keep the background balanced. Remember when I was filming in front of the window and the light was good, but there was a large blank spot on one side of the wall. Avoid reflective surfaces like TVs or mirrors. Make sure you don't accidentally display information you'd rather keep private. This is especially important if you're filming outdoors because you want to avoid filming street names and house numbers. Use plants, books, and other accessories to add visual interest. Even a plain white wall can work as a background as long as you wear a contrasting color so your avatar will stand out. And before you start filming for real, do a quick test shot to make sure you like your design setup. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can try Synthesia out for yourself. They even offer a free plan that gives you access to nine stock avatars that speak over 140 languages. But to create a personal avatar, you'll need to choose a paid plan. With the starter plan, you can create three personal avatars. Each avatar can be in a different location and you can wear different outfits. You also get access to over 125 multilingual stock avatars. With the creator plan, you can make five personal avatars and can access over 180 stock avatars. And with the enterprise plan, you can make unlimited numbers of personal avatars and can access over 230 stock avatars. Synthesia is rolling out a lot of exciting new features and I'll tell you more about them in my next video. As soon as that video is ready, you'll see it right here.